which I'll, I'll just create. I'll take a four by four matrix. I'll put some I'll put some ones in and some zeros in. Okay, let me. I don't know how many to put in to tell the truth. I, I've never done this before. I don't know the determinant of that matrix. So, like mathematics is being done for the first time in in front of your eyes. Uh, what's the determinant? Well, a lot of, there are 24 terms, because it's four by four. Many of them will be zero, because I've got all those zeros there. Maybe the whole determinant is zero. I mean, I, is that a singular matrix? It, that, that possibility definitely exists. I could, I could, uh, so one way to do it would be elimination. Actually, that would probably be a fairly reasonable way. To, I could use elimination, so I could use, go back to those properties, that, and use elimination, get down, eliminate it down, do I have a row of zeros at the end of elimination? The answer is zero. I was thinking, shall I try this big formula? Okay, so I'll, let's try the big formula. How, uh, tell me one way I can go down the matrix, taking a one, taking a one from every row and column, and make it to the end. So, so I get something that isn't zero. Well, one way to do it, I could take that times that times that times that. That would be one, and, and, and I just said, that comes in with what sign? Plus. That comes with a plus sign. Because, because that permutation, I've just written the permutation about 4, 3, 2, 1, and one exchange and a second exchange, two exchanges, puts it in the correct order. <laughs> Keep walking away. Don't, don't. Okay, we're executing a determinant formula here. Uh, <laughs> as long as it's not periodic, of course. If he comes back, I'm in. No. All right. All right. Okay. So that would give me a plus one. All right. Are there any others? Well, of course, we see another one here. This times this times this times this strikes us right away. So that's the order three. The order three. Let me make, make a little different mark here. Three, two, one, four. And is that a plus or a minus? Three, two, one, four. Is that, is that permutation a plus or a minus permutation? It's a minus. How do you see that? What exchange shall I do to get it in the right order? If I exchange the one and the three, I'm in the right order. So took one exchange to do it, so that would be a plus, that would be a minus one. And now I don't know if there are any more here. Let's see. Uh, what, I could, let me try again, starting with this. Uh, now I've got to pick somebody from, oh yeah, see, you see what's happening. If I, if I, if I start there, okay, r column three is used. So then when I go to next row, the, I can't use that, I must use that. Now columns two and three are used. When I come to this row, I must use that, and then I must use that. So if I start there, this is the only one I get. And similarly, if I start there, that's the only one I get. So what's the determinant? What's the determinant? Zero. The determinant is zero for that case. Because we, we were able to check the 24 terms. 22 of them were zero. One of them was plus one. One of them was minus one. Add up the 24 terms. Zero is the answer. 